All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Julie Ben Fish Academy. In today's video, we are going to show you how to treat your entire fish tank using bitter leaf water. Oh yes, bitter leaf is one of the most amazing gifts from uh, God, natural gift, you know. It has a lot of advantages, you know, a lot of advantages. It keeps your fish healthy, protect them from bacteria and many other things. So in this video, very quickly, we are going to show you how you can actually use bitter leaf to treat your tank at least once in a month to ensure they are healthy living. So the first thing to do, of course, this water is very dirty. I have to try as much as I can to empty all of them. I change my water every blessed day. So I will have to open this one. Open this one as well. Open this one as well. Open the fourth tank. And then finally, open the fifth tank. So now the water has started going down. I'm going to pause the video right now so that the water in the tanks will get exhausted. All right. While the level of water is uh, gradually going down, let's go fetch some bitter leaf for the different tanks. All right, we'll take you straight to the very front part of my house. I'm just at the back of my yard. Oh, I have a bitter leaf, uh, do I call it a tree right now? <laughs> I have some bitter leaf just in front of my house oh yes this is the bitter leaf see how tall it is you know it's a natural gift from God and it comes with a lot of advantages your catfish can really really benefit from this if you use them wisely and use them very very well so very quickly bitter leaf as we already know it's a natural gift from God, you know. God actually is the maker of bitter leaf. And he's also the doctor that embedded all the different uh, antibodies, antibacteria, and anti whatsoever it can do. Now, bitter leaf, as a natural gift from God, is antibacterial. I'm about to list the different advantages you can actually benefit from bitter leaf, both as human beings as, as well as uh, a fish farmer number one is antibacterial antibacterial in the sense that it fights against any form of bacteria in the human body in your pond in your tank just name them number two it is also anti-malaria oh yes it is anti-malaria any form of plasmodium as a result of mosquito bite as a result of mosquito depositing plasmodium on your pond or your tank it has a way of also fighting against that that is why it is called anti-malaria it is also anti-cancer oh yes it fights against cancerous cells oh yes very very important that's one of the most adva uh, beneficial advantages you know fine fish may not suffer from cancer but human beings do suffer from cancer so if you consume bitter leaf on a regular basis it has a long way of relieving you from cancerous cells in your body and then also it is anti-diabetics you know diabetes of course excess sugar in your body system and all that it fights seriously against that it is also anti-parasitic yes anti-parasitic in the sense that it fights against parasites in the human body in the fish in the tank in the pond just name them it is also rich in antioxidants oh yes when you talk about antioxidants you talk about uh, um, um, how do I explain antioxidants now? Now, the best way I can explain antioxidants, you know, from the word oxidation. You know, oxidation actually is a, a reaction that is not healthy for any living organism. So it is antioxidant. Antioxidant in the sense that it fights against oxidation. Now, one may wonder what actually is oxidation. Oxidation is actually a chemical reaction that leads to um, the formation of free radicals in a particular organism or in a particular uh, uh, um, uh, living thing, as so to say. <clears throat> it leads, sorry about that, it leads to the formation of free radicals. When you talk about free radicals, free radicals are simply 
um, the formation of unstable atoms from the word free radicals they are free they are unstable unstable atoms now these unstable atoms in turn brings about aging in the organism they find themselves in that brings about the uh, death of the cells you know it also brings about um, um, illness of the organism it finds itself and that is one of the reasons why fish usually suffer from a lot of sickness and then they die in your tank in your pond and you don't know what is actually going on now it's as a, most of them is as a result of oxidation and of course this oxidation can be avoided through bitter leaf water oh yes bitter leaf is a very very good remedy for oxidation and that is why we say that bitter leaf is antioxidant in fact very rich in antioxidants when you talk about antioxidants there are different fruits that can be antioxidants you know now the very first fruit you can talk about as being antioxidants you talk about garlic you talk about onions you talk about pepper fresh pepper you talk about tomatoes you talk about uh, apples you talk about lemon you know name them vitamin c vitamin e selenium you know these are different forms of antioxidants and they go a long way to fight against oxidation that brings about aging death sickness in living organisms and then also it is a remedy for constipation you know yes bitter leaf is a very very good remedy for constipation it is also a remedy for dysentery and then it is also a remedy for um or not really a remedy in this case now but it goes a long way to regulate the amount of uh, cholesterol in the human system that is bitter leaf water for you you can see how beneficial these leaves can be so without wasting much time i need very few of it so that i can treat my tank because i have up to five different tanks i may need quite a lot but i will harvest the much i can and take them to my tank then i will show you how exactly one can use them to fight against sickness in your fish tank or your fish pond as the case may be so that is bitter leaf water or let me say bitter leaf for you it's actually a natural gift from god if well managed the advantages are so so exceptional all right Let me pour some here. Some harvested ones are falling out already from my hands. I think this is enough already. All right, let's go back to the pond all right i had to invest some off camera so i have this quantity i think it's going to be enough for the entire five tanks i have at the back of my house all right so let's go straight to the pond all right just an arrival this tank is totally or let me say almost drained yeah this one is fully drained already ready for fresh water this one has gone down to a good level same thing with this one too so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to give it some fresh water to a particular level where it will be just good enough for the bitter leaf to act on then close here then connect this pipe here then put it on they are totally receiving water then i have to give these guys water too just a good level so they have started receiving water as well I'm gonna give them water to just a minimal level somewhere here so that the bitter leaf can have good effects on them let's see the big tank all right this one is almost down 
so I am going to change the position of the host so that the minor one will exhaust water in the tank this is the major one the function of this major uh, controller is to exit huge volume of water while this one empties the tanks to the bottom all right this water level is okay this one still needs some all right this one is also okay looking at this one is also okay for this it's okay and then this one is also okay let me end this one too all right the next thing you do is to wash the bitter leaf in fast running water trying to remove any form of dust particle that may be attached to it is the aim of washing it all right that's okay so after doing the washing it's time to do the extraction now we are about to extract the bitter content of the leaf you have a bucket underneath to carry the extraction just a little water under then you can bring your bitter leaf and deposit so you can you know carry out this type of exercise on it so that you can extract the bitter content of the water the more you squeeze the leaves the more the bitter content accumulates at the bottom you have to perform this exercise again and again again and again until you have the quantity of extract you are looking for now if you have a good look you discover that it has started fuming yeah that means the bitter content is already coming out and of course as the bitter content of the water is coming out it goes to the bottom and gathers exactly the bitter content we are looking for that is where all the nutrients the antibacterials the antifungi did I use the word fungi antibacterial antiparasite antiparasitics antidiabetics anti-malaria antioxidants just name them they are so much embedded in this bitter content all right I think I'm getting some good quantity see they've started gathering on there already all right so that I'm gonna do for all the quantity of bitter leaf I have and then I will show you how to administer it to your tank now we are done extracting the bitter content of the leaves you know this is where I drop the leaf themselves all right so basically the major work has been done just a little water Now let's see what we have. Wow. 
that's quite uh, a good quantity this water you see here is medicine itself medicine itself very very rich this water you see can cure dysentery it can cure bacterial infections it can cure malaria infections it can even go a long way to avoid parasites in your tank you know it can also be very very rich as i said before in antioxidants it's also a remedy for cholesterol you know very very rich it's medicine on its own so i'm going to show you how to administer this water to your tank shortly now i've succeeded in transferring the bitter water in this bowl so i am quickly going to use this bowl on each of the tank i'm going to pour it in each of the tank just a little quantity is enough all right that's okay for this one a little quantity that's okay for this tank a little quantity that's okay for this tank a little quantity that's okay for this tank you can see how the water easily gets greenish as it goes this is medicine in itself all right let's go to the major tank Whoa. these are the organs all right so the bitter content of the water will definitely diffuse into their body system as they breathe and then it will start performing its work the water has automatically turned green and this is very very good for their health bitter leaf water is very very good for this fish it's a way of you know keeping them healthy if you can do this once in a month your fish will have a good reason to live healthier and longer as well all right so let's see the little tanks now that they are swimming in bitter leaf water to make the treatment very much effective we are going to give them a little quantity of food they have not eaten this morning so just a little quantity of food so as they take in the food it also goes a long way to get into their system with the food particles all right straight away we administer their food or their feed as the case may be As I said before, the smaller fish will feed on. This is 1.8 mm aqua feed. Just sprinkle, just one spoon is enough for these tanks. They are very small in quantity. We have about 50 something fish here. Also, sprinkle one here. It's also enough. And then, take this for this tank. Just a spoon is enough. Also, take here, I'm giving them 1.8 small because I'm sure this is not their breakfast. Their major breakfast comes with a higher quantity, but this is just to help them eat and have the bitter content of the water get into their body system. I will also do the same for the big guys, you know. Although these ones are too big for 0 .8, for 1.8, but 
they are too big i'm still gonna give them their usual food but just a smaller size let me get that all right this is their feet this is zero uh that says zero point it's actually three mm for the jumbo just going to administer a few usually when the water is like this they don't feel like eating because the water is bitter you know so do not give them so much food just a little so that a few that will manage to eat will have it you know get into their system and it's gonna be very very good for them all right so at this point we are going to allow this water to stay with them for the next 30 minutes one hour or let's just say approximately one hour by then it would have done all the necessary works it needs to do and then the next thing you're going to do is to change the water immediately after one hour just remove the water and then put fresh water then repeat the same process the next month at least once in a month you can treat your pond six times to the point that they get mature but of course you do not do that for very little fish you know when they are at their fright level this kind of treatment is not too necessary and even if it is then it should be on a very minimal quantity so that it will not end up choking them because they are still very very young at the fried level and they are also very very sensitive so that is that for that all right once again when the time for change of water will be then i will let you know and of course i will do that in the next one hour see you as we wait for one hour all right this is one hour later this is how they still look like remember this experiment is purely exclusively for juveniles and above or let's say latest post fright do i say post fright post fingerlings or let's just call it juvenile and above so this experiment is purely for juveniles and above if your fish are still very very young probably they are their fries level or fingerlings level i've not performed this experiment to know how well it's going to be on them but what is good for the elder fish is as well good for the junior fish it's just left for you to know the quantity you have to apply for them so as to boost their immune system so once again this is purely bitter leaf extract that has turned the water green as you see and of course you must have seen the processes involved and the advantage of this as i earlier mentioned number one is antibacterial is anti-malaria is anti-cancer is anti-parasitic it is rich in antioxidants it is also a remedy for dysentery it is a remedy for cholesterol or let me say it as a way of regulating the range of cholesterol it is also a remedy for diabetes you know it has a whole lot of advantage so you treating your pawn every month like this will go a long way to keep your fish healthy and also make them live longer so at this point this is one hour later i have to start by you know draining the water off the tank so i'm starting with the first this is the first tank the water is going out already the second water is also going out already for the third tank water is going off oh i think i should have covered it here open the fifth one and then lastly this one so now the water is going down 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 let me cover this one because the water can you know run back into the tank so why these ones are going down oh as soon as they get down to a particular level we now put in fresh water and then they can now have their normal feed and live appropriately as usual so I'm gonna pause the video right now while the thing goes down now the water is completely out of the tank so at this point i am going to fill them with fresh water fresh water fresh water
All right, so as they are receiving fresh water, this is a big dank. So this one has not gone down fully. I'm going to change this position here to drain completely. So this one will receive water at last. These are your guys. All right, once again, thanks for watching. If you are visiting our channel for the very first time and you have not subscribed, this is Julie Ben Fish Academy. Press the subscription button if you like what we are doing. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't like, you can give it a thumbs down and make a comment on how to make these videos better. All right, once again, thanks for watching. All right, now at this point, the water has been totally changed. Now they are swimming in clean water. What is remaining now is to administer them their normal feed. And you will see how fast and ready they will be to enjoy it. I think they enjoy more of uh, fresh water than bitter leaf water. Anyway, bitter leaf water is treatment water. So if they don't enjoy it, um, I'm not so much impressed because any form of treatment <laughs> cannot be enjoyable. All right, let's watch this tank as well. Hmm, see how active they are on a very little tap of the tank. All right, once again, thanks for watching. See you guys next Friday. This is Julie Ben Fish Academy.